Good morning everybody, Robin United Footy here and today it is time for another match day experience. Last week we took on Portsmouth at the New York Stadium and won 4 1 last week. It was this Tuesday, the well, Wickham game at New York Stadium, which I couldn't make. It was boring 0 0, I was told. Partly the game was terrible on Tuesday night with Wickham. And now we move on to today. Today it is away day and this time it is at MK Dons versus Rotherham United at Stadium MK. The stadium is I love. The padded seats, it's just a massive ground. My goal prediction today is going to be, um, I would say, 3-2 to the Millers today. I think Will Green will score, I think Michael Smith will score and Freddie Alapo will score today. So yes, um, we're going on a coach today and we're stopping off somewhere and then we'll move on to Stadium MK to have some fun match day experience. Right then guys, um, see you in a bit. It's him that oh. and we did oh, we save us last time. Yeah. Lee, watch yourself. Eighteen. Good morning. Morning. Good morning. The mighty Miller's on the You'll get one, I'll get over and get one. Well, we did from last time. Oh, I think it was here, weren't it? You sit there, I'll sit. Was that a log? Chuffing all, man. Padded seats in Hampton. Looks like there's about 2,000 in. Yeah. Delaney. Well, for years they didn't fill top seats in. Then they fill top seats in and put everybody in top. Good morning, Mighty Millers. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Up the Ramsley, you know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, we'll see how dedicated you guys are. I'm going to see how many come down with me to Ipswich on a Tuesday night. I'll have it there. We never got it, All we Wednesday was worse, we got so Thursday were alright. Thursday were best day of the week. It went from being hot and rainy to clear and freezing. You can take that warm and rain, when it's cold in white ball, it's cold in it. There were loads of tram cancellations, it was easing this year.
town on the bank on a day. We kept the dog sleep all the time. So if you've got your cans, make sure you finish what you've got, put them in a bag, I'll dispose of empties. Any full ones, when you come to the front, give them to me and I'll put them under the bus so they're out of sight, out of sound, okay? And you can have them all back when we leave Milton Keynes on the return journey. When I drop it off is where we're going to pick it back up um, at half past one. Please make sure we are away for our fun because there's going to be three buses and it's going to be causing me anyway. So let's make sure we're all ready to roll at about half past one, okay? I don't know. We'll come now then. Come on then, Tommy, let's put your phone down while you're walking. <laughs> Oh, it's working luck. Oh, 
Alright, jump. I hope. Oh, you've seen me for a while, have you? Right, we're on the coach. We're now going to move on to Adon Scout. See the cup. See if I can. Right, so we're going down the ground. Only about 25 minutes, half an hour. Um, the history of Milton Keynes is that they're a first division club. What play first division? <laughs> the race course Inside. Test from the kiosk.
thousand and two thousand and three, were it? Yeah. So our lineup today starts with number 31, Josh Vickers, number two, Wes Herding, number four, Dan Barlesau, number eight, Ben Wiles, number nine, Will Craig, number 11, O'Benny, uh, number 17, Sheen Barneson, number 18, Ollie Rathbone. Number 20, Michael Akeway. Number 23, Anderman Screen. And number 24, Michael Smith, starting 11 today. Subs for Rotherham today is number one, Victor Jonathan. Number six, Richard Wood. Number seven, Kieran Sadile. Number 10, Freddie Alapo. Number 14, Mika Miller. Number 19, Joshua Cado. And number 22, Haken Old Muffin. I can't really say the last word, unfortunately. That's your subs for all of them today.
What's that coming on? Coming off number 17, Steve Barnison, replaced by number 14, Victor Miller. Coming off, Dad Barnison, and replacing by number 22, Old Scotting. Scotting, I said. Did you see how far that? Dad Barnison's going off, replacing by number 22, Baker Old Scotton. I really can't say his name, unfortunately, but I do apologise. Anyway. Eight minutes to go.
오. What do you think to today's? <laughs> Absolutely magic, mate. I'm just saying, they've all drawn with one point yeah. off a second, three points off the top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Goodbye, MK Dons. It's been a good visit again. My know bus will go first. First, what what's going today? Oh, there it is. Baby, 
Who's Millis? Right guys, it's time to end this match day experience from MK Dons. Wow, what a win at MK Dons yesterday. We won 3-0 at MK Dons. So anyway, let's talk about the day. We travelled down to Bridging in the car, we went on the coach, and we stopped off at Chokester, in a nice local village it were. We had about a good hour there. It was all right place, but I wasn't that keen actually. And uh, then we moved, then we left there at half past one. Uh, the journey down was went smooth as planned, no problems whatsoever. Down then one, just then one actually. Then out of the way, uh, we stopped off at Bob Stub, like I just told you. Then we, yeah, then we left at half one. Then we carried on to Estonia Milky. I got there for about uh, five to two. Anyway, um, we got to the ground. I went in straight into the ground through the turnstiles. Something strange about that ground. It's like biggest concourse I've ever seen. Yes. Uh, so I've got, I've got myself a grogum. If you hang on, here's yesterday's grogum because just cost two pound yesterday. Here's the front and the back. Anyway, uh, we watch T News announcements, warming up announcements, and and all that. And here's my match report. I thought it very good game for Robin yesterday. First off, it was very difficult with NK Dons trying a lot of times, and then Robin scored in the first half by Michael Edkway, so that was a good goal from him. Then we reached at half time, and then second half. We was just brilliant. We scored twice. One was by Dan Barnison and Freddie Lapo scored yesterday in second half. Uh, we took 1,242 Rotherham fans yesterday. Then after the match, we clapped them off and then we headed back to Rotherham. I was back in Rotherham for about quarter past seven. Yeah, so no problems at all yesterday. Right then, guys. Um... Next up for Rotherham United, it is another Pepper John's Trophy action at the New York Stadium on Tuesday, the 26th of October, to Man City under 21s. We played them a few years ago, but now we're playing them again. <laughs> and then next Saturday, it is the biggest game of the season. It is Rotherham United versus Sunderland at the New York Stadium. It's going to be. A massive game next Saturday. Anyway, we're in FA Cup in a few weeks and we've drawn at home to Bromley. Yes. Oh, we've got Charlton away in before that. So, yes, uh, Bromley at home in FA Cup first round. So, non-league club. I thought, good. I'm looking forward to that game. Right then, guys. Um... Please, Please like, like and, and subscribe, subscribe to Rotherham United, United Footy. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all on Tuesday night where we'll watch Rotherham United versus Man City Under 21s in Pavajon's Trophy.
Goodbye.